Hello and welcome, my fellow math mortals. We're going to go through with PhysMec 1, which is the formula of uh, TI-84 calculator program for physics mechanics. Uh, this is great for even like an AP class in high school in the States or uh, a regular physics class or even uh, abroad. You guys are taking mechanics probably for a semester and even a university level class. So go to kinematics. And then we've got 1D motion, projectile motion, circular motion there in the submenus. And let's just do uh, the 1D motion. It has all those uh, basic four, uh, I think the four King equations of 1D motion. And then it goes further. I'll just show you just a teaser of what that looks like. I'm basically defining what all the variables are. So V is final velocity, VO is initial velocity, A is acceleration, T is for time. So just to give you an idea of what all that looks like, and we'll go back to kinematics. And then we have uh, projectile motion there. We've got, oh my gosh, look at all these big daddy equations. That's pretty cool. Uh, circular motion here. We've got these two basic equations. And then I will quit there, and then we rerun it. And then let's go to dynamics. You've got all the basic dynamic equations there. Newton second, weight, friction, F net, tension of a string. Actually, it's even off the, uh, the screen, <laughs> but it does show up on the calculator itself. Okay, uh, let's rerun it. Uh, let's go to work energy. And then you got the basic work, kinetic energy, potential energy, and power equations there. And then we've got uh, the more menu, which is, and again, that stands for the Morat Grav. That sounds like somebody's name from Eastern Europe. No offense to the Eastern Europeans. You guys contributed a lot to civilization and to science and to math. So uh, no dis intended. I apologize. But Morat Grav does sound like an Eastern European name. I think you can agree with me there. He's probably a great soccer player or something, dude. Oh, oh, even better, probably water polo, Olympic champion. Okay, so let's go to momentum. Um, we've got impulse momentum. We've got momentum, impulse, impulse, and momentum conservation. Just show you what these submenus look like. We've got a couple uh, momentum uh, things there. And then we'll go to uh, rotational. There we've got rotational kinematics, rotational dynamics, rotational energy. I'll give you an example. That's what that submenu looks like. Let's go back. And then let's go to rotational. Let's do it again. Rotational dynamics. Got all this stuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. A wealth of opportunities. And then gravity. We've got gravitational force and gravitational field strength. Gravitational force. Let's see what we got. Oh, my goodness. That's what it looks like. Pretty good. Defines everything. Ooh, even gives you the constants and whatnot. Okay, um, let's go back and then quit. So if you want this, it's available at mcstutoring.com. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll be doing a deep dive of this. Go through every single menu and submenu. It'll take a while. So till then, good luck in all your math endeavors. I'll see you next time. Your source for TID4 calculator programs, mcstutoring.com.